Hello and welcome again to WSAA TV. Do you remember buying your first car? Well, like buying your first rifle, it's something you'll remember for the rest of your life, especially if it's brand new. In this video, we're going to look at some of the things you should consider when making that all-important purchase. So, let's go shopping. Rifles, as we can clearly see, come in all shapes and sizes, but it's the type of action that is the main distinguishing feature. There are lever action repeaters, slide or pump action, and single shots such as this brake action rifle. But the most common rifle around is the tried and true bolt action, and that's the one we'll focus on today. The underlying consideration for choosing a new firearm of any type is that it must suit its purpose. Now that might sound pretty simplistic, but that's effectively what it comes down to. Cosmetic appearance and brand can be a big factor for some people, but don't let that get in the way of the important technical factors. These are some of the choices you'll need to make. Obviously calibre, barrel length, weight, stock fit and comfort, and ease of loading and handling. For left-handed shooters, there are plenty of rifles available too, which is certainly better than fumbling around with the right-handed version. If you're hunting, the calibre is probably the most important consideration. The calibre has to be appropriate and legal for the animal you're targeting. Have a look at WSAA's Comprehensive Guide to Shooting and Hunting. It outlines the current regulations. Also, choose a calibre where the ammunition is plentiful, or if you decide to load your own, ensure the reloading equipment and components are readily available. Apart from what you intend to hunt, consider the terrain and distances you're going to be shooting over. Are you walking or waiting in a hide? Maybe you're spotlighting. These things will determine the choice of calibre, rifle weight, and so on. Well, if, you, if you're going to be shooting in country like this where you're going to be spending most of your time walking you wouldn't want a rifle that was terribly heavy in the barrel or in its overall weight and you'd be looking at something that's got to be capable of taking game out to a couple of hundred metres at least. In more open country you could go for a for a much heavier barrelled rifle um, especially if you're working off the bond of the truck or actually shooting out of a truck or even spotlighting uh, where you could use it at those longer ranges. My recommendations for that would be something like a 223 or a, or a 22 250, provided you, you're only working with smaller game. If you were going to go up into the larger game, like pigs and goats or, or deer, then obviously you need to look at heavier calibres and probably with a preference for a 270 or a 308 because it gives you a, a bit better reach, especially if it comes to cross gully shots. However, if you're choosing a rifle for target shooting, you have the advantage of being able to meet and talk to like minded people at the range who are shooting the same discipline that you're planning to shoot. Now, most matches using off-the-shelf hunting rifles have requirements that may narrow your choice. Make sure you're familiar with the rules of the particular match in terms of rifle specifications. For example, choosing a rifle with a four-shot magazine when the match calls for five shots, although perfectly legal, may put you at a distinct disadvantage, particularly where there's a time limit. So when you do come into the gun shop, it's best to have a clear idea of exactly what it is you need. Now, where this exercise of buying your first rifle can get a bit tricky is if you want to use the one rifle for target shooting at the range and for various hunting situations as well. However, there are plenty of excellent off-the-shelf models that will easily allow you to do this. Well, I've got what I came for. Thanks for watching WSAA TV and we'll see you next time.